Will we find out who Karen's baby daddy is on the mid-season finale? I said, that's one of the most drag storylines ever on this show. It definitely is. And I said, season six so far to me has been dragging. I want to say it's been dragging more than any of the other seasons. But at the same time, they play the same doggone storylines over and over again. So I wanted to ask y'all, what do y'all think? Do y'all like season six so far? Or do y'all think that it's dragging? Do y'all think that there's still time for them to, you know, finalize these storylines? But I said, look, I got a few storylines that I feel like been dragging. One, Karen's baby daddy. Two, the bank robbery. Bank robbery. Three, Fatima and Karen beef. Well, with Fatima and Karen beef, I would say that Fatima is finally giving Karen a dose. I ain't going to say a dose of her own medicine, but she finally speaking up for herself. Remember when Karen was study coming at Fatima like they was just friends and she went behind her back and she knew that they was involved and all this other stuff and just was talking sideways to Fatima for a very long time. Well, Fatima don't got fed up. But on the preview for the mid-season finale, they on the phone and Karen is saying she going to shoot her. And I said, now we can't assume that, you know, Karen started all this. Fatima could have threatened her first and she could have been like, she going to shoot her too or whatever. You never know. You never know. She could have threatened to do something to her. You never know. We just got to wait and see the episode. But knowing Karen, Karen always doing something. But we just got to wait and see. Um, Number four, Gary and Andy. I don't know what they got going on. <laughs> I really don't know. What happened to y'all remember Gary friend? I just thought about that the other day. I was like, Gary Friend, what was his name? The dude, he was in the car with him when the, I think the whole uh, situation with him squeezing Andy Ribs. What was that guy's name? I need to go look it up. Preston and Danny. I will say that they finally making progress. So I wouldn't say that's a drag storyline anymore. But at the same time, when they was on that doggone date, they started back going back and forth or whatever. And Danny felt some type of way about him not being able to recognize, you know, the error in his ways. With that, I feel like she always makes it about him. I feel like she always makes it about him. And I feel like the same with Fatima and uh, Zach. Fatima and Zach, because, you know, Zach keeps saying he's in therapy. We haven't heard Fatima say she's in therapy. And then we just found out on last week's episode that Fatima paid the manager to, you know, view the footage of Karen and Zach and everything. So it's like that's what they call insecure. Insecure, but at the same time, he hasn't given her a reason to trust him, I would say. He's been doing a whole lot of stuff. But, yeah, um... Preston and Danny have been making progress, I would say, uh, for now. But I don't know yet because I still feel like she thinks it all it's all about her and he allowing her to think that. He isn't calling her on her mess to me. And until he actually speaks up for himself and say, what about you? What about what you've been doing? How you been acting? All these men you've been running around with but and you not communicating your feelings for me and all that stuff. When is he going to hold her accountable? Calvin and Sabrina. I feel like I forgot some people, some situations, some storylines. But Calvin and Sabrina, I said, y'all remember um, Pam was telling, I think it was this episode, Wednesday's episode, where Pam was telling Aaron <laughs> that that's not going to make her, that's, why I didn't write Karen and Aaron? Let me write that down. Hold on. But y'all remember when Pam was telling Aaron that that's not going to make her want you? I said, she need to tell Calvin that too, because um, Sabrina seemed like she don't want him either. I, at first, I still say, I, I feel like she's confused because of his choices and what he's into and everything. So she's not comfortable with it. And if you ain't comfortable with it, then that is what it is. But for you to, y'all sit up here and kiss, y'all sit together, you come run whenever she needs you and all this stuff. Just like Aaron. Aaron does. And I, I'm i about to do a whole nother video. I don't know which one going to go up first about uh, Aaron and Calvin because I feel like they one and the same. Same storyline, different characters. Same storyline, different characters. They both go above and beyond. Think about it. Yes, buy your offer millions. I think to offer any money to help somebody is, um, I would say, selfless or just kind or whatever. But to offer your last, I think that's different. You you saying that's everything you got in your bank account. Everything you willing to give. Everything. And it wasn't just for Sabrina. It was for Maurice as well. Which isn't to say because you give this money that she has an obligation to you or to be with you. I don't believe in that either. But it's like, it's something to be said. You was willing to give everything you got in your savings account to help her and Maurice. Man. But uh, Karen and Aaron. Man, she be looking so disappointed. <laughs> he go, he over here doing the work to get it back to running. Now, I know he had the situation with Jennifer going on. We still don't know. I didn't write that down either. We still don't know who this lady is. We still don't know who John is. I wanted to know who John is. They should have picked up where they left off. That's my opinion. I feel like they should have picked up where they left off with the uh, Jennifer lady. Let me write that down, Jennifer lady. I'm going to just say Jennifer lady. 
they should have opened season six with. They actually did open it with, you know, when Maurice and Q got into it, when they got into it and everything. But I feel like the next scene should have been, instead of the girls meeting up with Danny, well, they did. I just thought about it. They was at Danny's house and everything. But still, like, I feel like they should have followed up later. I know Aaron and Karen had talked about Jennifer, but they should have explained who John was. They should have explained, gave some background information. Of what I don't know if they saving it for the second half of this season or next season, but I feel like when you introduce certain storylines, you should follow up with it at least. But, yeah, uh, Karen's baby daddy. Now, I had been saying, I was like, yeah, she definitely, I know a lot of fans were saying the same thing, that she delusional. For you to sit up here and push a doggone envelope with a blank sheet of paper on him and say, pick it up, why won't you pick it up, and all this stuff. I would say you is delusional, because what if he would have picked it up? But then they followed up the next episode and was like, um, they said that, she was on the phone with her doctor and was like, she thinks she left her copy. She thinks she left her copy and she never said the other the results. I don't know she ta- what she's talking about, but she said she, and they didn't specify either. Why wouldn't you specify? They didn't say, you know, what copy or what she left. And I'm assuming it's the DNA test results. So did she see it beforehand? Like, did she know, did she actually know that it is Zay's baby? Did that test confirm it? You know, and she just left her copy or, did she not open it when she was at the doctor's office and she thought it, she just was so sure that it was X, but it actually ends up being Aaron's. I feel like it's going to be Aaron's. I feel like she's going to lie like it's X, but I feel like it's going to be Aaron's, but we don't know. I think the most drama would be if it actually was X because that's what they like on here, drama. So I was like, I don't know. What y'all think? Do y'all think it's going to be Zax or Aaron's? But I've been saying, you know, if it had been Zax, wouldn't she been screaming from the mountaintops and everything? I mean, technically, she started when they all was at her place. But, yeah, she was on the doctor's office. She was on the doctor's office. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Excuse me. She was at, She was on the phone with the doctor saying she left her copy. She didn't say copy of what. So I'm like, okay, did she look at the test results beforehand? But they do say that they supposed to get tested to find out who. I said, I would get it. To, I wouldn't believe Dilly freaking squad. I don't care if she go get the test results. I don't care if they bring it to me. I would still have to have a second test because look how far she's willing to go or whatever. Then the whole situation where now she, on next week's episode, the Miss Eve's finale, she telling Aaron and Pam she don't want the money. She's upset because I'm guessing because of everything that happened that he didn't come over to sleep with her. And that he actually told Fatima everything that she said about leaving the door open and everything. But my thing is, and I did a video, check it out if you haven't already. You knew, just like he knew, that he had a woman. So for you to sit up here and deny Aaron, tell my son, no, you don't want his help, you got to cover it and all this stuff. It's foolish because you knew you, you ain't no reason to be upset because you knew he had a woman. What what you thought? He was actually going to leave her for you? I mean, the way he was acting, y'all know my opinion on it. He did too much in my opinion and he did confuse her. But once he told her what it was and that he just, he do love her, he don't hate her. He just trying to help and all this stuff. She's supposed to took it for what it was, but she didn't. She didn't. Um, the bank robber situation. I'm hoping that Q has a conscience finally and he turns himself in because Maurice on next week's episode they in the police station they show Sabrina they show Calvin Calvin always there he always there but they show them in the police station and he's walking up or whatever and they telling him before that they was telling him not to do it he goes in the way because he trying he felt bad because you know Calvin told him about himself and he just felt bad in general because you know he was messing around with you she did tell him leave you alone but I don't think he still should turn himself in. I ain't going to. They said 15 years. But my thing, I'm also going to do a video on Logan. Because I might just speak on it on here. I don't know yet. Logan, because if you haven't seen um, Wednesday's episode, I'm going to fill you in. He wanted Maurice. Maurice was turning himself in. He took the blame. He said him and Q. It was just him and Q. So Logan kept trying to persuade him to turn or convince him to. That's the same doggone thing, ain't it? <laughs> To convince him to turn on on uh, Sabrina, this man kept telling he didn't do it. She didn't do it, and he kept on and kept on. And then when he left, when Maurice left, he threw the pen down and all that. So was his promotion because you know he got a promotion from this whole thing. Was his promotion tied to the conviction of Sabrina? Cause is he working with the prosecutor? Cause the prosecutor was acting like that. He was mad because Andy beat was working for his uh, wife and took so much from him, and ain't that. I ain't going to say illegal, but against, well, that's the same thing. <laughs> Look. 
<laughs> we ain't gonna talk about it. But uh, it's, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. What is what? When you sign, it's just like with doctors. They take an oath. Don't police officers and detectives and all these people take oaths too, where they can't do stuff like that. Have personal vendettas and stuff against folks and try to charge, uh, convict them. And then y'all know I was saying I had been saying for the longest. I was like, so you work at, you got a bank, but nobody got no surveillance? Where's the security guard? Where's the camera? He revealed, Logan revealed that he saw the surveillance. He saw Maurice and him driving up. And I said, wait a minute. So if you saw that, did you see the weapon? Did you see the, him holding the weapon? I just, and I didn't say this in the, my other video. You saw the weapon. You saw, saw him holding the weapon against Maurice. You saw it. You saw him, them walking in and him having the weapon on Maurice or whatever. You saw all that. Then you said how you saw Q, he was yelling and all this stuff, but you still came up with a deal for him. Do y'all think that when people do stuff like that and they convict folks or uh, they know that the evidence isn't solid or they still do that, do y'all think they should serve some time or what? Or do y'all think they should just lose their job or pay a fine or something? Well, yeah, you said you saw him. You saw, you ain't see Sabrina when Sabrina came in. You seen what happened, but you you so focused on getting her. I think that's another drag storyline, the bank robbery situation. They wrap that up, gone wrap that up. But I said I haven't seen. You know they said that Sabrina's supposed to get another another lawyer. It's supposed to be the dude from Tyler Perry's bro. Um, I don't know if his name Michael or something. I don't know his name because I don't watch Tyler Perry's bro. But he's supposed to be the lawyer or whatever. But I don't know. I really don't know. And I think they had some little spoiler pictures where Sabrina was in like this white and black uh blazer. She was in like this white and black coat or whatever. And they all, I th well, I don't think all the girls was with them. But I think it was three of the girls. It was Sabrina and I can't remember the other two. I want to say Danny and Andy, but I don't know. I don't know. But they was meeting up with the guy. I don't know. That hasn't happened yet. I don't know if that's going to be at the end of season six or the second half of season six or what. But yeah. Uh, but that's another storyline. I feel like Q might turn himself in. If he doesn't, they might somehow get a confession. But at the same time, I don't think they would accept that confession from him. If Maurice is coming in confessing and he's trying to convince him to say that Sabrina did it, then they ain't going to take no recording. They ain't going to take nothing. With the Fatima and Karen beef, um, I said I already spoke on it. That's, that's been going on for too long. But at the same time, I feel like Fatima is just not letting Karen have it or whatever. But I'm interested to see next week's episode of the Missy finale because I want to see, you know, if it gets to the point. I don't think nobody's going to shoot nobody. But uh, that's crazy to, to talk about you going to shoot somebody. <laughs> I said, nah, she that mad. Well, the, the crazy thing about it, though, when you think about it, it's the fact that uh, at the beginning, Zach was trying to get Karen back. And she didn't want him back. Once he moved on. That's when she started wanting him back. Everybody keeps saying it's about money. I keep saying the same thing. I disagree. I think it's about seeing him be what you wanted him to be. And you didn't speak life into him, which isn't fully your responsibility. I mean, you aren't supposed to just speak death into nobody or just be talking crazy to folks. But no, like I, I disagree about the money situation. I think she just see, because remember how she was talking about having a family, having kids and all this other stuff on the beginning. I think it was season one. But, yeah, I was like, yeah, she going to drive herself crazy. Do y'all think they would actually take one of the sisters off? I, I want to see what happens next week. I want to see. It, probably nothing. Y'all know that, Jerry, they stand there talking about the same thing over and over again before they actually go to something. Ooh, I almost forgot. The fire, the salon fire thing. Remember how they had been saying that the Jennifer lady did it? They made it. They did all that. They hyped it up. They ended the episode. Was that um, episode one? I want to say it was episode one or two where she was trapped in the fire. But they ended the doggone episode with her laying in the fire. Why wouldn't you pick up where you left off? Look like, that's crazy. Because, first of all, her hand was like you said it. Her hand was too close to that doggone fire. She should have been caught on fire. Her hand or something. She should have had some bruises or something. Some something. <laughs> she come walking up. Come on now. Now, I mean, that was crazy how she walked up there. It was into it. It was uh unexpected, but um, it was interesting to see. But at the same time, like, come on, you could have did a flashback to show her coming out the fire or the dude helping her or whatever. They said that Marie's supposed to get a new boo this season. Is that gonna be the guy that saves Sabrina or what? Like, I'm I don't know. But yeah, I was like, why wouldn't you go back? And then they had like three or four episodes. I'll say uh, three at most. 
Where is, where's Karen? Where's Karen? Where's Karen? She's in there. She's in there and all that stuff. Only for them not to show her in there. Like, the way she walked up was crazy. If you go back and look at it, it was interesting. I ain't gonna say interesting. Well, I keep saying interesting. But, um, I would say I liked it, but at the same time, like, duh, I wanted to see her in the fire try to get out. Somebody bust through to help. Ooh, what if Zach would have did it? What if Zach found out about it and he got there in time? Or he was coming to talk to her about signing the papers and he saves her. I said she definitely would have been uh, stuck on him then. But, yeah, um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I was like, man, that I almost forgot about that. And that reminds me of uh the other times where it was like the credit card situation. That with the fire situation, they build up hype about that. They kept on like making it seem like, oh, it's like she got we knew she wasn't gone because she was in the trailer. She was sitting on the couch. We had already, I had already seen all of that. So I knew she was gonna be alive. But dog, oh, you build up so much hype about that. Then the credit card situation, we it was just some random customer. Then the photo, it was just some random customer. Look, well, it was a uh, friend of, uh, what's her name, Angela's, who knew that Fatima would want to know. We didn't find out nothing about why all this hype. And with Tamara and uh, Hayden, you know, Fatima said she was done with the situation because it's not right what she's what she trying to do, take everything and all that stuff. And I was like, okay, I knew she wanted him to drop Heather. That's what she wanted Tamara to do. But at the same time, didn't she, why didn't she tell Tamara, okay, we done afterwards? She didn't. So what did she want her to do? Like, I'm confused. Because now Tamara, she left Hayden because he said he found, he wanted the annulment and everything. And I said, I don't know. I said, they said, I don't think she signed it though. She got to sign it. I think they said she has to sign it within 30 days. She's trying to disappear into those 31, <laughs> into day 31. She's trying to disappear into that so she could get, she could get all his money or get half of his money. That's what she's trying to do. But I was like, at least Hayden was distracted because you know how long he was focused on Fatima and Zach. Then on next week's episode, Zach, he's walking up to, you know, Gary and Hayden right there. And I said, leave them alone. Please leave them alone. But, um, uh, something else we haven't seen bio now granted this is just the mid-season finale we still got another half robin oh i almost forgot sorry for yelling y'all robin why wouldn't you show robin i guess he off the show now we haven't seen him it's just like it's just like with paris last season he just popped up out of nowhere he just popped up out of nowhere gave us a flower she gave him away to the uh assistant lady the receptionist or whoever that lady was and i was like she had they had him pop up and she just and also, he was talking to Robin, and basically Robin was being a butthole to him and everything. And now we haven't seen him again. We haven't seen Robin. Nobody's heard from Robin. What about the millions that uh, they owe Robin? Like, what? I don't understand. Bio, we haven't seen him. Uh, we don't know what he's going to want for Sabrina. I think that's everything. Yeah, I just create separate videos if there's something else. Y'all, but come on, y'all thoughts. What do y'all think of, of Tyler Perry's sister season six so far? And what are some drag storylines that you feel storylines drag? What are some storylines that you feel that have been dragging for the longest? Until next time, do series.